okay you guys this video gonna be about my brown dog right here on top as you guys know if you've seen my previous video she had parvo when i first had her she's not the first dog i had with parvo but this is the first time i actually tried to save a dog that had parvo because as far as I know, it was it was no saving it. And it was going to affect the whole yard. And that's all I was taught growing up. You know, everybody say this, that, and the third. So, you know, um, the puppies I had before her, which was years ago, um, I had a puppy die before, like probably two dogs that died off Pavo, maybe one. But with this one, I was looking up a lot of stuff online, and it was saying about how Pavo is a disease. It's more of a like a parasite eating away at your dog and she become very dehydrated and things like that. So my thought was, okay, what can I do to give my dog some, get my dog hydrated and get her electrolytes flowing, you know, have her to where she can um, start eating on her own and, have energy you know it'll kill the parasites and things like that you know um pedialyte when i when i when i tell people pedialyte actually did the trick they don't believe me like seriously pedialyte pyrate gatorade things like that that will provide electrolytes me myself I use Pedialyte and water a little Pedialyte and a lot of water and I feed my dog that like every like 20 minutes maybe 25 30 minutes every 30 minutes you know, um, not letting her get too um, dehydrated. You know, that was that's the whole thing. When she when they going through that, you can't let your dog get too dehydrated. So, the Pedialyte actually provides electrolytes and mixed in with water. You know, it's great hydration. You know. Um, it's better than just plain water so you gotta think about it you a lot of people like drinking juices and gatorades and stuff like that instead of just drinking water what you think the dog would like you know but even if not it's what it provides a lot more than just water you know so that was the thing i was trying to feed my dog chicken and all that and she would not eat I'm talking about her mouth would lock up. She don't want to eat. It was she was getting very small. Like it's a, it's a lot. You could tell when a dog is going through parvo, you know. And that this is a great way to help your dog get through that, and also get some bleach. Um, some dishwashing liquid. You don't have to use much bleach or nothing like that. But um, get you some dishwashing liquid and stuff so you can actually clean the area your dog going to be in and was in as well. So you wouldn't have to worry about the sickness. If you do put your dog in a new area, since your dog already is sick, you're going to want to clean up the area almost every day well uh, you is going to want to do it every day but almost 
you know, as frequently frequently as possible once it become noticeable or become to where you can tell like your dog been over there you know it, it, it's starting to smell like something or whatever you know you need to clean up that area um also keep your dog cleaned up too because you don't want the sickness just sitting there you don't want the smell of it sitting there so you want to try and disinfect everything as possible her insides and outside you know so that's the that's that's the um hard part about it is spending a lot of time with your dog which you should be doing anyways but you got to be your own doctor if you don't want to spend out that type of money that you will have to by sending them to the vet so yeah this is um please like sub comment let me know what you guys think did this work for you guys will you try it out um do you need any more tips from me you know can i provide you guys with any more help just let me know